The fact that Gary and Ian have been writing the England team down, <laughs> deleting your iPad, writing it down again, it says it all really about how hard to get the balance right for the next game. Let, let's go from the back forward. And what about Mark Gahey? People say, yes, who have England played? But what about Mark Gahey? Oh, he's Gahey? done very well. Again, bigger, bigger test to come, but he's been solid again. That was a big question mark at the start of the tournament, about the, I suppose the whole defensive unit. But he's done really well, and obviously he's... Um, He's got Stones and experience next to him. So he, he must be the light of the start of the tournament. Mm. But again, bigger test to come. Now, if Luke Shaw cannot play the last group game, I mean, part of England's problems is this lopsided, dislocated nature, which is caused by Luke Shaw's unavailability, isn't it? So if he can't play in the last group game, would you, if they qualify, throw him into a last 16 game as his first match? He's not played for an age. Um, I think Kieran Tripp is doing you know, pretty well there at left-back filling in. But you do lose, obviously, the balance. Um, in possession, particularly going forward of Luke Shaw. Uh, Manchester United miss it desperately when he doesn't play, and I think England miss it desperately as well. Now, Alexander-Arnold probably won't play. I think we could probably guess at that, couldn't we? In probably, the Slovenia game? Probably, yeah. And if he didn't, who would who would you put in there? I, you know, well, it's, it's either Kobe, Kobe or Walton. I'd, pr I'd probably put Walton in there simply because he's as close as I've seen with Fabian Ruiz, and, in, and when I've seen him in the last few games, for Paris at the end of the season, he's calmness. He's calm, he, you know. He can. Fight. He's got a pass, you know. He's very. He's, he's a very intelligent player, and he's. He, and I think he's somebody that wouldn't panic in this situation. And he's been picked in the squad, you know. Listening to to Gareth, I think he mentioned that um, was it is, is about um, Calvin Phillips, and yeah. you know, he's the only one in, in the country could maybe play that role. I don't believe that. I believe that Adam Morton could play. I think Kobe Maynard could play as well, and you've picked them. So now we're in a situation where it's. Uh, it's not desperation because obviously we're, we've got four points, but we're in a place where we need something different. We need something to change something. Need to change the narrative change and the momentum something. going got forward. Got Cole Palmer in and around. You got Golden. We, we need to do something. We need to change that. Well, there seems to be a lot of confusion. Even the messages, Garrett saying we need people who can look after the ball. Then they seem to they need more pace in the counter attack. So he's definitely got some some tough decisions coming up mm. over the next few days. And then we talk about options. Obviously, gamble to bring Shaw because he's not played, but when you have an option, to, you can bring 26, you can see that. But then you can almost have too many players. It looks like he's too many options then. Got, that, that's, that's part of the reason you keep deleting your team now, yeah. isn't it? Garrett, uh, get, Neb's got 15 in the team. Some, yeah. to, get the right, to get the right balance here, do England have to think seriously about dropping a premier player, a I think, Foden maybe, to play somebody Matt, who's who is more a natural wide player to get... It's all about balance, isn't it? Playing for England is, is damned hard work. And I'm not, I'm not trying to explain that. To try and repeat your club form for your country when you don't play together as much is difficult for every country, but for England as well. And Gareth, I think, over the last few years has been able to pick a team. He's ignored reputations. He's ignored, if you like, what would be the star player. He's picked the best players that he can out into the pitch but make the team. For the first time, I think, in Gareth's tenure, we're looking at a situation which has bit England in the past, whereby famously the Beckham, Gerard Lampard scores, or playing even Shearer and Owen up front as a pair didn't work for England, but because they were both that good, we had to try and make it work, and it didn't work. That's why Terry Venables dropped out far better forwards than Teddy Sheringham, but played Teddy Sheringham with Alan Shearer because they dovetailed with each other. I think that Gareth won't want to rip up what he's done in the last couple of games, but I think he's going to have to because I think there needs to be a reset before we go into that third game ahead of the quarter fight, uh, the second round, sorry, because it isn't right and the pattern is there now over two games and it will re-emerge, I think, and it will cost us. We know how this ends if we carry on as we are. So I think Gareth's been brilliant over for England over the last four or five tournaments, but this is a real test of him now because I think it's the first time he's got that many talented players and he doesn't quite know how to get them in jail something. I feel for him, because we've tried it in the last 15 minutes, not just me writing down names here, even we're struggling with the idea of leaving a Foden out or a Kane out or a Bellingham out. But other or... countries do do it. I mean, it's interesting reading all the, all the other European journalists today. They go, we have an ex-player who's terrific, but he doesn't fit the system, he doesn't fit the balance, therefore he's left out. So yeah, maybe the time is coming. Well, yeah, he's, he's like, I'm not like, saying it is necessarily Foden. It is somebody, though, is it, to get the better balance? Really, I mean, I, honestly, I find it really difficult to think about the leave, the leaving Phil Foden out of our football yeah. team. Yeah, that, that doesn't. I don't. That don't sit well with me. But at the end of the day, we're talking about Cole Palmer. Is Cole Palmer the fifth best player in yeah. this as a winger in this in this yeah, in this point. in this squad? It's no way. Point. How can Cole Palmer not even get a, a, a look in with the, the, the kind of player he is? Can I just say as well with Trent? I can't. I can't, I can't I feel so sorry for him I because. Do. He's coming as a so-called quarterback with no one moving. With, what's he supposed to do? 
You know what I mean? It's, you said how hard it is, Roy, to go in there and do what he's doing, and he's come in there with no plan of what but, he's supposed but, to. What he's supposed but, to just right, go in and do what he's doing for right, Liverpool. Right, we'll We've got movers. Right, people we'll, running. We'll, we'll, we'll look back in five, ten years, and I think we'll laugh and regret that Trent Alexander-Arnold couldn't get in the England team at right back. Yeah. Now Kyle Walker needs to play somewhere, and obviously in the past, Trippier was, for instance, against Italy. I think in the final two, three years ago, Trippier was right wing back and Kyle Walker was right centre back. Mm. To not have Trent Alexander-Arnold in our team, in his position that he plays best, I think we'll look back in five, six, yeah. seven, eight years and think, what were we doing? We've, 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 we've seen wrong. Spain tonight with midfielders who've been playing in that position for years and mm. years yes. at the top level, and all of a sudden, they throw Trent in the middle of the park. He's not used to it. I know he's played the odd game here and there. And I expect what him about to the big one. decision to leave whoever it is out for the sake of better balance? Well, that's, that's the manager's job. Yeah. That's what Gareth's paid to do. And there's always been question marks over Gareth. Is he brave enough? Has he courage and bravery? He's been mentioned... This is a big test for Gareth over the next few days.